hello traders welcome back to my channel once again so um i just want to explain some of the things that you need to observe while trading on binary option most especially binary option okay so i will still explain the how i do those trade i just uploaded the video i just uploaded what i observe and actually this is what i usually do with my student but i just think maybe i should help you guys and try to explain something to you so that you can still have some little knowledge and better understanding about the market so one thing i will advise you anytime you want to take a trade is first of all make some plans i mean anytime you want to take a trade in binary option anytime you open your chart and you want to trade you want to start trading first thing i will advise you is first of all go through the chart be in the mood of trading before you ever enter in the trade when what i mean by being in the mood of trading is anytime you enter the trade let your mind be as if you only come to market to play it but not to come and play no it is your money you come to you come, you come to the market to come and play it trend back uh, candlesticks and so on so forth but you are not coming here coming there to play so you have to be in the mode of trading be in the mode of trading don't divide your mind to anywhere else okay so what i want to show you is this anytime you want to enter the trade there's something that you need to do first i this will basically based on this will be only on binary option below so of course i will explain that of course but this one will be on binary option below uh one thing is you first have the the better understanding of price charts that is one thing you need better understanding of price chart what i mean by price chart price chart can be all those swing high and swing lows in the market swing high i think that was last sunday i explained some of the high uh, the way market behave on support and resistance to my students i explained to them so i just want to give you some quick recap of what i do explain to them also on sunday okay so um before you enter the trade most especially once once you open the chart in binary option first of all check the chart pattern the pattern movement you can first check the old chart the old chart then you can now check the current chart movement the current chart movement if the old chart is moving like this then the current chart should be like this the current chart movement this is the old chart the old chart but this is the current chart so first thing you need to do is first check the current uh, the, the the old chart it should give you a better understanding of how you took the next trades then now go and check the the current chart just like what i did here this is the current chart i'm talking about this is the old chart all these charts you are seeing here this is the current price movement the current chart patterns the current chart movement why this is the old chart so one thing i want to uh, advise you or make you to understand about trading or support and resistance is that there are two things that are, no not two things there are so many things that usually occur when trading or support and resistance take for example this is let's say this is a resistance level this is a let's say it right as a resistance area most of the time when price come to this level this area it will pass very strongly okay and that is one most of the time when price come to this area it will pass like this a little bit then go back again reverse very strongly okay then most of the time when price come to this area it will it touch this area it will do like this uh, for some time consolidate and rather and finally reverse very strongly Most of the time when price come to this area you will see that a strong bullish candle might break the area then market is strongly reverse most of the time when price come to support or resistance area you will see that the market will just move like this 
something like this, block rejection from this level and try to say, okay, it's going up before you reverse. We have so many things that usually occur at the support and resistance. Most of the time, the market can do just do like this at the support and resistance, makes your reversal, then shoot up very strongly. At least a new trend is going to occur very strongly. Most of the time, when price comes to the support of resistance area, you may see that the market will just make some strong move to the upside. Maybe got a little pullback and move up very strongly, got rejection, and then continue on. Most of the time, when price will come to the resistance area or support, or let's say resistance area, you will see that price will just come to the resistance area, got rejection, and then move on. Most of the time, when price comes to the resistance area, you will see some kind of consolidating in, inside this area. And before you know, the price will just shoot up, got rejection, then push up. It might still come back again. Before you know, it got the maybe break a little bit, reject again, reject, make some retracement, then before you know, you move up very strong. These are the things that most traders are not aware that anytime the market comes to resistance, support and resistance, this is what usually happens. Most traders are not aware of this. And this is very most important to observe while trading. And you must have the knowledge of how can you behave on those areas. For instance, if price comes to this area and it did not reverse, maybe a strong bullish candle, a strong bullish candle cross the area like this, and it did not reverse, the next candle keep going up, and the next candle keep going up. Anything, if it happened like this, it means the market is not ready to reverse. But if it happened to be like this, next candle go down, next candle goes up, next candle go down, before the next candle goes up. It usually occur like this. So this would be a green, a red, a red, a green. A red and now a green or uh, this one most of the time it can be a green it can be red or green and can, anything can happen so one thing you have to have it in mind is try to observe what is happening in the market in the current price movement if the market is moving like this toward the resistance you draw the tra channel most of the time channel cannot be a straight line like this okay try to most of the time channel can be something like this you see the upper side is wider than the lower side most of the time channel can be something like this you see the lower side is wider than the upper side then most of the time channel can be like this both upper side are the same range okay so once price is moving toward the resistance, try to look at the structure of the market. If the structure of the market is moving like this toward the resistance, what do you think is going to happen here? Number one, either the price got the rejection from this level, break the trend line, reverse down very strongly. Number two, either the price we got the rejection from this level, cross this lower trend line, reverse back, and make some pullback. It might still even cross this trend line. You have made, most of the time we say, oh, this is a fake breakout. Let us go with buyers. Yeah, yeah, yes. Before you know the market will just enter very strong, come down very strongly. Or oh, this might might happen. Price come to the price come to the support area. Got rejection a little bit, then move down very strongly, got rejection here, make some double top patterns. Then move down very low. So these are the things that you need to observe. That is why most traders will place trade on we place call option and we place put option here, and the market will not reverse. The market will still form a green candle. They will place put option. They will place put option at the resistance. The market will not reverse. It will still form a green candle. Maybe by crossing the line, the area. Then before it finally reverse that is why you need to be in the mood of trading anytime you open your chart if you be in the mode of trading you will know that if you see a strong momentum everything that you need to remember while trading 
it will become possible to you. Anything, all the something that you need to remember while trading will become possible to you because you will know that market is not going to expect you. So that is one thing that you need to observe. Now let's go to the chart and check something out. So I'm going to spend like 10 minutes with you guys. I think I've spent almost 10 minutes. Let me have another 10 minutes. Okay, so I just likely, I just wished I can give this class. Okay, so now look at this trade. You see that immediately I open the chart. Before I even open the chart, I have already analyzed the whole chart and I know what is happening in the market. You will see that if you are, if you are one of my forest students, I place a sell order. I place a sell order on GU. G P P N Z D G U. Yes, I place a sell order on GU using uh, four minutes in a four hours time frame or using 15 minutes executions so that means i place a sell order on gbp usd this is what i'm in okay i'll show you how i will upload the picture i place a sell order I mean that i expecting i'm expecting price to go down okay so that is why i place a sell order on g so when the price is actually going down that means anything that is up, happening on higher time frame will also affect the price movement so in this case anything i want to trade here in this kind of situation i will first look at the chart i want to see that the chart the chart must be in favor of what is happening on higher time frame have take note in that take note of that the chart the chart movement, I mean the current price movement, must be in favor of what is happening on higher time frame. Look at the trend is down. Okay, the trend is down. Definitely. What I'm seeing here in this kind of situation is that I'm seeing some kind of channel. Channel patterns. Uh, something like this. So try to observe what the channel pattern means and how they look like and how to quickly observe them you see the market is bouncing from head uh from support trend line and resistance trend line and finally breaking out okay so meaning there are some kind of uh, price reaction here that is where you should please uh you should always target your my your your prediction that okay price is moving up and there are some price movements here there are price uh, reaction here that we can see the market reverse multiple times. It becomes support here. Now it later becomes resistance. So what do you think is going to happen here? That means there must also be some price action here. The price must still react here. Meaning if buyers will likely to come to this level, sellers will still enter. If sellers will come to this level, that means we expect sellers again to enter. No matter what we got, what will happen here, when price has finally top out or break out the channel it's come to this level and it got a strong rejection so what do you think is going to happen again that means if buyers again we still like to go up again to this level sellers will enter now take note what do you think is going to happen if sellers buyers come to that level how do you decide what's going to be the next candle most of the time price might come to this level close below the line and you go with sellers or price might come to this level close above the line still you still go with sellers but if price come to this level and got a rejection instead of sellers buyers enter now if buyers now cross this level what do you think is going to happen price will continue so meaning whatever that happened on this area here is not really affecting the price uh, buyers entries here because the buyers have already break this line so buyers have their own freedom to push the price higher so that is one thing you need to observe. So finally, let me quickly explain some of the things that you need to observe. Now see what the market is doing. You see, I've drawn this area before when I took these trades. I've drawn this area before. So what do you think is going to happen here? This candle got rejection, but you see that if you look at the body of the candle, it looked like as if, as if it crossed the old area, but only rejection we are seen here but it goes below the area so you should have it in mind that this area is still intact 
That is why we see the market reverse multiple times. These two lines, this area is still intact. The market is reversing multiple times. That is why we see these strong rejections, meaning price is still going to reverse from this level. But before they can reverse, look at what is happening to the market now. Strong buyers movement. See this time now close inside this area, seller center. Okay, so one thing that I will always advise you is check the current trend. Yes, the trend is down. Now check the current price movement. Yes, the price is moving up. So what I'm going to do in this kind of situation, you draw your trend line. Trend line is a very powerful, uh, powerful trading tool. It helps a lot. Okay, draw the trend line. Now. Don't force yourself to draw trend lines. Don't say because you want to attach the trend line here. Um, I see you do with that, but I can't attach the trend line there. Okay? But this is how I will draw the trend line. So meaning anything that will happen here, if market will range for a while, it is definitely to become a to the sellers will try to uh, refuse it this trend line again. And if they refuse it this trend line again with a strong momentum. They're gonna break the level, retest and go down, or they're gonna break the level, consolidate for a sign and still try to visit this area again before they finally go down, or they are not going to retest or any level. They will just go straight. These are aggressive trader. Trader, uh, trader that doesn't want to play a, play a trade a pullbacks are called aggressive trader. Okay. So they will not even allow the price to hit any result, any to retest or backtest, uh, retest any previous broken support or resistance. They will just sell up the market. Okay. So one thing you should come to your mind is now, price is now ranging inside this area. What do you expect to what do you expect to happen here? Meaning, if sellers become weak here, buyers will take over and push the price higher. If sellers become strong here, sellers will take over and push the price to this level by revisiting this lower trend line. Again, so when they revisit this lower trend line, anything that will happen here will now determine if the price is going to reverse or it's going to break. So what I'm expecting now is if sellers, uh, see this is a weak sellers candle. Now, buyers enter. If buyers now become a weak candle and they not break above this line, or maybe it break the line and still got rejection from this trend line, I think that is the right time the price should go down. Now, we can see previously buyers movements, but when the price moved this level, this is another area we expect the buyers to enter. You see, when price moved this level and reach this level, we now see some sellers' entries. Sellers' entry, meaning that. The sellers are now dominating this area. Now we see that price has now break this area. But what happened again? It got rejection from this trend line. So there's no chance that bias is going to continue. There's no chance the bias is going to continue. Okay? So they got rejection from this trend line. They got rejection from this trend line. There's no chance the bias is going to continue. There's no space. It's just like this. This is a level. That even though the buyers reach this level, uh, sellers will still and uh, buyers will still continue. But you see, this can kind of got rejection from this trend line and also break this level. Fine. Can you go with buyers? No. Why? Because no place for buyers to go. What am I talking about is there's no area or there's no level that we say, okay, buyers will enter because this is a barrier for the buyers to continue. This is a barrier. That is why if I remove this trend line now, if I remove this trend line, a lot of people will not take note of what happened to the market. They will just think maybe, oh shit. They will just think maybe this candle has already crossed the trend line. Let me go with bias. We cross the trend line, let me go with bias. Uh, you cross this area, let me go with bias. But you never know that even the trend line also is a very powerful tool that will make you to understand what is really happening in the market because we got the thought uh, a reversal here a reversal here a reversal a reversal so definitely there's no chances for buyers to do more so anytime you are analyzing the chart make use of the trend line that is 
one piece of advice i will advise you and this is very much important i don't like seeing people complaining about losing trade anytime you're analyzing the chart make sure you take note of how the market is moving then you use the trend line if you can't analyze the chart using the horizontal line then make use of the trend line the trend line will assist you to know the current price movement now what is happening now is the price is now at this resistance area if i should extend the whole area i will extend the whole area to this extend the whole area to this previously it was here but i will extend the whole area to this because here it is where i draw the area on the left side so definitely if i should extend the whole area which i see the buyers are failing to break the level or are, are failing to go up that means that means i will extend the whole area to this okay but i will still make use of this line as well and i can still make use of this area as well okay so I, if i don't want to make any mistake then i will i will i will lock this one or let me just say i will hide it okay i will just hide it for me to know yes market supposed to go up so the, from here to here is an area and what are we expecting now is price now to break this area retest or no retest then move down very strongly so once you are able to analyze the chart like this it will be very easier for you to know all those price points what i mean by price point yeah now i know that the market is going to break this lower trend line yes it's going to break this lower trend line but it failed so that means i have already set up my plan b that if they break this lower trend line my plan b should be that having the knowledge the price is going to break the lower trend line the market is going to continue downward that is my plan b but my plan c is if price did not break this lower trend line my plan c should be maybe the price will still able to still uh, go back again to revisit this line and the finally the market is going to break so whatever you do you have you must have a plan you must have a plan in whatever trade you take have a plan before you enter the trade i have because my mind is just like uh working doing 10 things together at the same time that is what my mind is doing and that is how i train my mind thinking about 10 things at the same time number one i said the market is going to break this lower trend line so i need to see a strong bearish candle that will break the lower trend line or that will be very close to this lower trend line or momentum number two if they did not break this lower trend line fine i'll go with buyers Number three, if they break this lower trend line, I know there must go to be a retest. Number four, if the candle that will break the lower trend line is very strong, like a uh, strong candle like all this one, I don't think it's going to retest the level. So these are the things that I need to put into consideration. So my mind is working, is doing 10 things together. That is why anytime I take trade, I will already analyze what is going to happen. Okay. Uh, Already analyze what is going to happen. So here I need to see, you know, the trend is moving high highs and higher low, right? High highs, higher low, higher highs, higher low. Now, if market move up again and could not reach this higher high or could not break this higher high, so what it should come to your mind is that the market is now ready to go down. So now, what do you see in this chart? Price is moving high high. This is higher low. This is higher high. This is higher high, this is higher low. Now the price is likely to create another higher high. But if the price could not create another higher high, so definitely we're expecting price to create higher low. Then before you know the market starts creating a downtrend pattern. Okay. So how do you identify the higher high and higher low structure here this is higher low this is higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high so if price come to this level maybe sellers enter if sellers enter and again buyers enter if buyers enter you know this is what i mean in here if sellers enter and buyers enter and buyers did not reach this high 
that means the market is not ready to go down. So that is what I'm expecting. Okay. But it seems to be that buyers are still more active in the market, are still active in the market. So they are pushing the price higher. Okay. So in this kind of situation, we have some sellers activities and the price is still going up. You can still be extending the trend line. You can still be extending the trend line. The lower trend line as well. You know we have some areas here then we can look for next support so level and uh, resistance level and to our view so one thing that will come to mind is if price cross these two lines that means they are not ready to go up but if they do not cross the line, so they are not ready to repass the market. And another thing I advise you is to know the opening price and closing price of candles. Opening price and closing price of candles. Opening price and closing price of candles. Look at this one. Actually, I think seller should enter. But if buyer should enter, the opening price of this candle should be here. If buyers will enter. Opening price of next candle should be here inside this green candle. If I should enter, but I think if sellers do not enter, the market is not ready to go up. That is what is happening here. Now you see this candle has been able to break this trend line. Now what I will do here is extend the trend line. There is still some space. There is still some space which I know the market is not ready to pass yet. some space so i think this will be the final level if price do not break this final level i think now sellers will now enter but if price break this final level buyers will keep going up this is the final level for this trend line in a week final level for this trend line so if buyers now break the final level that means the market will go more up but if I do not break the final level, sellers will go down. Now, trace on the left side, if you're going to see a level here as well, horizontal level, where this candle is now. You're going to see a horizontal level. Okay, so we have some reversal point here. Some reversal support, resistance, resistance support, resistance support, resistance support. That means there's going to be some kind of seller entries here. Now, what do you expect to see? Seller's entry. Seller's candle. Why seller's candle? And why did not why didn't sellers enter here? Why is it that this bullish, this doge is supposed to be bullish? Why is it that this doge is supposed to be bullish? Why is it that uh, you form a doji and that is quest, a question you should, you should ask. Let me explain. Remember, this candle did not reach this trend line. There's still a little gap. It did not reach this trend line. So there's still a little gap. The price will reach the level. Fine. That means next candle is going to reach the level. That is, bias is going to continue. If this momentum is not strong, bias will not continue. The market is going to touch this line and form red. That is what is going to happen. But because of this momentum, buyers are supposed to enter, but you see their buyers are not interested. That is why the sellers enter. Now, what are you now seeing here is we are now seeing a evening star pattern. Evening star pattern is a sign of reversal to the downside. So what should come to your mind is price should break this lower trend line, got rejection from this level, maybe try to reverse up, or make some retracement and gain continue up before you know finally go down or the buyers penetrating or penetrate so these are the things that you need to observe and these are the things that most traders do not even think about it when they are trading they always think maybe they place their trade on 
support and resistance market reverse support and resistance market reverse low so i think this is what i want to explain so what are you expecting now is a breakout of this lower trend line previously they failed to break this lower trend line i think now this is the time they should break this trend line the sellers will break this trend line so if they break this trend line they're going to stop here yes they're going to stop here so no matter what will happen by we still try to see try to push the price higher and that is when the market will not start forming lower high so this is the high this is the low so if buyers enter here it's going to create lower high high low buyers enter here it's going to create lower high so if sellers enter they must cross this previous low to create another lower low so take notes high sorry high low lower high slash will break this low then i think the lower low should be somewhere here somewhere here so i still have two minutes to go So what are we now seeing here? High, low. lower high, lower low. So I think the sellers will still go more down. So this is now the structure of the downtrend. And that is why the market is going to break this lower trend line. If sellers fail to break this lower trend line, I think that is a sign that maybe some sellers left the market at that moment. But if they break this lower trend line, they will continue to this if they fail to break this lower trend line, that is a sign that they are the sellers that are supposed to break the lower trend line, they left the market. So they give chance for the buyers to take over. Remember all those price area. This is price area, these two lines, their price area. Now the question is why is it that the market did not reverse here? Uh, why is it that less candle work is, is forming a red candle here? why why is it that this kind of form green and, and buyers entered here when this candle kind of closed inside this area why is it that this one this got rejection from buyers did not reverse why is it that this one reverse why is it that this one got rejection even very close to this inside this area but did not reverse why is that last enter reason is the market has now created a lower you see what i said you can see low uh, high low lower high lower low i said the next lower low is going to be somewhere around here and that is where the price moved down here so i think uh, the market is still going to form red candle uh, i think so it's going to form the red candle so once you have the knowledge of price movement like this let me tell you trading will become easy for you to predict candles Okay, because once you have the knowledge of price movements, identifying the structure, the next direction of the market, trading will become easy for you. So this gap here from here, I think the sellers will fill the gap. That is why the sellers are now entering the market. Okay. So I want to see if the sellers will break this lower trend line. That will now give the sellers in their a liberty, a liberation, let me say a freedom for them to form a momentum. You see now, I think now they break the trend line. Remember, the highs and lows are still intact. This is high, this is low, lower high, lower low. And this is lower low. 
think Bayer is going to end that again. I think so. I think Bayer is going to end that again. Let me see if I have to enter the game. Okay. Okay. If I have to enter here, is now our new. If sellers enter here, I think sellers will enter somewhere. I just want to make sure that. It corresponds with this movement here. I think sellers should enter here. Sellers should enter here. That means the uh, buyers will still go going to continue, or maybe buyers will continue to this level as well, and maybe sellers will enter, or maybe already there are some buyers at this area that has already placed the high, or maybe buyers will enter here. Because these two candles here, he is showing me a sign that maybe buyers has already entered. Which is what I'm seeing here. And as you can see, we go to candles. I go to 15 minute time for 15 seconds. And we'll see some bullish candles. Uh, so it has already played a high. So that means this is our. That means this is our lower high. This is our lower high structure. Okay, this is our lower high structure. Let me go back to one minute. Yes, this is our lower high structure. So the market is not going to up, it's not going up again. So this one now is not below this previous low. So if I should draw the trend line, it's going to be something like this. It's going to be something like this. That means as we are seeing the buyers pay to enter here, and our sellers are trying to enter the market. So if the buyers, if the sellers enter the market, come on, what's the meaning of this two bullish candlestick? Uh, so whenever you, whenever you uh, uh, convince yourself when you are seeing this kind of situation, so this is now how the market is moving high, low, okay? So connect the high and low. Lower highs, lower low, lower highs, lower low. So bias is going to enter from this level. Maybe after this candle kind of close, bias is going to enter to create lower high. Then before you know the market is going to continue to this level. I think that is what I'm expecting. That is what I'm expecting. Let's see bias is going to enter here. So if I has entered, so that means this is our lower low. Yes, that will be our lower low. If I has entered. And if I has entered, this will be our lower high. Then the market will now, let me be, let me say, uh, market will come to this level, then bounce, uh, go straight to this level. See, I'm not taking any trade. I just want to explain to you. Even though, if, if I take and if I take trade now, it will you will not understand. So I just want to show you how price move and how market behaves and what are the things that you need to observe while taking trades. This is binary option. This is not forex. Forex you can just predict level market. If the market go against you, you still need right. You still wrong. Market go with the in your direction is still fine. Actually, this I think the sellers must enter here. Now, have it in mind that this kind of got rejection here, and this kind of open outside. So it it will look as if maybe the buyer will still go more up. But if the buyers did not enter, sellers must enter. That is what I'm expecting. If the buyers enter, they should continue. You can see before I even say they have already reached this level. They have already reached this level. Okay. 
So they go back again to retest this area. Okay, high, low. Okay, high, low. Lower high, lower low. Lower high, lower low. The market break the trend line. Now they go back again to test this trade area. I think they go back again to the downside. So before they even go back, I don't think it's going to be a rush. Something, something that they will rush. Before they will even go down, maybe the market will still like to consolidate here. That is why you say, oh, let me place call. Pium, the market went down. Oh, let me place put. Pium, the market goes up. The price go up. Then we just the point. That is why you are confused because once you have the knowledge that the market is going to consolidate here, then means you are able to know the next candlestick. Which I'm expecting price to begin to come down to this level. See, you see, price went up to this area. Buyer center, pium. Okay, fine. Buyer center. Let me go with buyers before you know. Sellers enter, pium. Ah, let me go with sellers before you know. Buyer center, pium. That is why you, if you do not see the uh, IQ option, you look as if IQ option is manipulating the charts. And they don't manipulate the charts. Chart. What they are seeing that they manipulate is OTC market. OTC market, they manipulate OTC market. So this one they don't manipulate anything. I don't think so. So I'm expecting some kind of consolidation here. You see, break out the test. There may be some sellers movement, buyers, sellers movement before you know, down. You know, See this high. The price has already break the high. Now extend the high to this. That is when buyers should enter. So I think the buyers is going to enter because now we see the low, the high break out the test. I think buyers going to enter again. The market is going to come down to a seller's entry. See some buyers entry. Then buyers again enter again before you know they finally. Or maybe sellers fail to go down and buyers penetrate this area for some time and finally they break this. But what I'm expecting is downtrend at least to this level. That's what I'm expecting. So never you place trade when you don't understand the charts. If you understand the chart movements, Chart patterns, analyze and analy analysis, chart analysis. <laughs> Let me tell you, trading psychology, candlestick psychology, come easy while trading binary option. Ah, now people will say, oh wow, this candle crossed this line and it broke this high low, high, high, higher high. It broke this high high. Let me go with buyers. Let me go with sellers. Found, see buyer center. Fine, buyers are now go ready to go. Maybe they didn't draw this line before, or maybe they didn't know about this um, trend line. They say, "Oh, buyers have break this line. The next target is here. Let me go with buyers again." Fine, before you know, market reverse here. Pion. and now the market is trying to go up. See, he got rejection from this level. Buyers again retest this level once again, and he closed as red. So finally, when he closed as red, remember this pattern. If you are familiar with the charts or we are familiar with the patterns you will know about this pattern which i always explain to my students this pattern is the most that buyers can enter here it's the most if you see this pattern this pattern these two candlesticks i've explained to my student how so how the candlestick will be formed but this is one of the patterns i'm talking about we see these two patterns, it's a more that market is going to reverse. Oh wow, the candle got rejection from this level. Let me go with buyers. Pam, see seller center. Oh, now sellers is not ready to go down because I say it's not ready to go down. Go with seller. Pam, market reverse. Now, when market reverse, oh, the next level is here. Pam, let me go with buyers again to reach this level. Oh, before you know, seller center. So, there are things that you need to observe when you are trading. Option. So don't ever take trade and without having a knowledge of chart pattern. Now, take notes that this is what I said. The market is going to, after breaking this level, there's going to be some kind of consolidation. The consolidation is occurring now. The 
it's going to be some kind of consultation which I know the market is going down to this level. Their mission is to reach this level. So from this year, from this level, you cannot look for any pattern to those buyers. You know, this explanation is just like me explaining to you um, forex. But if you don't have the knowledge of forex, binary option will be difficult. So I'm using the knowledge of forex how to predict the trend. I have studied candlestick. I have seen the way they behave. So I know the one or I know how they are behaving on forex too. That is why I can trace us uh, successfully on forex. This is high. This is low. This is high. Higher high. This is high. This is low. This is higher high. So what are you expecting now? Higher low at any level. Maybe at any of this level. Okay. But I don't know if can will be close. I see rejection. I think now the price should enter. This should be higher blue. This should be higher high. I just want to make sure that the market is going down or is corresponding with this upper lines and so everything else. So I think the higher high should be somewhere here. Maybe the price is going to face the trend line again, then boom, down. You know, I said I'm going to spend three, uh, ten minutes, but I just, and this will be my first and the last explanation I will explain. Uh, so, the one more explanation on how to analyze the market like a pro, you have to attend my course, and that will be next week. I will, I will and now the date and time. Okay, I still have the videos. I still buy the videos. I still import the videos and things. So. so, what we are now seeing here, it, it was previously high, low, lower high, lower low. Okay, high low, high low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Then price break the higher, the uh, lower low. So we now have the low high and this is next high so next high we have the high low lower high okay from high to low lower high lower low so price is going to be passed from this higher low uh, uh, yes from this higher high and uh, lower high price is going to be passed from this uh, lower high down This is my idea of what the market is going to for the candlestick. I don't have the idea of how candlestick will form. So it depends on how the candlestick will form. Now you see this candlestick break this line, break this, which I expect the market to reverse. But have it in mind. What do you think is going to happen in this kind of situation? See this one that happens here. Buyers break this line. Uh, maybe the market did not reverse and tell us uh, buyers to enter the game. But you see here. You see, when buyers break the line, it is it reverses because of this level. It's supposed not to reverse if there's no area here. But this one, buyers break the line. So what do you think is going to happen? This is the area, right? But when buyers break the line, when buyers break this uh, this um, horizontal line, so you expect the price to go up, to continue to move up to this level. You expect uh, buyers to continue to move up to this level. But most of the time, it will not occur. It might just reverse a little bit here. So that is why I, I advise you to compare what happened on the left side to compare to what happened is going to happen on the right side. See here, this candle did not reverse bias break the level because it, it wants to create high high. But you see, because of this area, seller center. So that means when buyers break this line, it's not going to reverse. This is the next area, right? So that means buyers still going to continue, but when buyers come to that level, now that is when sellers will enter. That is when sellers will enter. Okay. But you see, no rejections didn't even reach the level. Didn't reach the level and no rejection. So I don't think the market should pass yet. So 
So one thing that should come to your mind is that there is a strong buyer zone here, which doesn't allow the sellers to enter. There's a strong buyer zone here, which doesn't allow it because here it creates lower high and lower low. So buyers enter very strongly. Now again, lower high and lower low, buyers again enter very strongly. So that means there's a strong level here. So what do you need to, for the seller to break this strong level? You need a strong candle as well. I think that strong candle is what is happening now. That strong candle, I think seller is going to break and continue to this level. I just want the sellers to stop here before I come to the See? If you check on the if you check in the past, you will see that this strong level, this strong if you check in the past, you see that this strong area sellers try to break the area for a very long period of time. They tried here, they failed. You see the candle very small. They try very strong in the field. Now, what do you see now? They try again. Now, when they tried, did they reach the area? No. That means if the buyers, if the sellers still enter the gate, now combine the power of both the sellers and the two sellers can do. So that is the sign now the market is going to break the area. So meaning if sellers entered here, sellers entered here. So combine the power of these two can combine the power of these two bearish candles because here it was one bearish candle that is very small. This one is two bearish candles, one is weak, one is strong. Still, they fail. But here we have the strong one, we have the strong one, and we have again the small one which has a copper rejection, the selling pressure. So, combine the power of both of them. That is a sign that we are now ready to break this level. So let's watch and see if they truly will break this level. So there's a strong bias that is holding the price here. That is why it didn't allow the sellers to even break the level. Despite the sellers are coming and trend and coming lower highs and lower lows still the buyers are still entering the market now there's one thing that we usually say that any level tested multiple times it become weak yes so as the level is tested, tested multiple times like with a strong sellers entry trying to break the level like here 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 multiple times now if they enter now i think they're going to break the level so let's see Combine these two bullish, bullish candles and this rejection from sellers selling pressure more than the rejection from buyers. Rejection from sellers more than rejection from buyers. Combine the power of sellers here and use it to weigh the strengths of this area. Maybe the buyers will hold this area. So let me draw the area so that you don't get confused. As you draw the area, the area will begin from here. This is where the area begins. From here to this line and this line. This line and this line. See seller center very strongly. Now now I think the sellers should break the level. Buyers are still holding the level. No problem. I think this is a build up. This is a build up. You can check my videos about build up. Okay. 
So when the build up approach or let me say consultation at the support level, that is a sign the market is likely to change a new trend. I think this is exhausted candle. This strong bullish candle, bullish candle is exhausted. Still, the sellers, uh, buyers are still holding the level. Okay, no problem. So, I'm just trying to show you how market behave, and I'm just trying to show you how you have to analyze the chart before you start entering the trade. Look for the highs and low in the market. Look for the highs and low. Identify the structure. Look for the highs and low. The structure level, like area of value, support and resistance. Then identify the structure of the market, the directions. Then look for how they uh, observe the candle, how they form. I think the buyers did take over again. Buy center very strongly. So I think these two candles are just, uh, let me say, exhausted candle. That means there are some leftover buyers here. Now I think sellers should now break the level. They have been trying to break the level, which I observe. I think now they try here to break, but still buys the enter. I think now they are trying to break the level. This is the level they are heading to. So let me see. I'm going to wait and see if price will truly break the level. But it seems the sellers have been coming weak. Sellers have been coming weak. Now, that is what I mean. Market will first consolidate before they approach the area you are heading to. If that is what they are going to do all the time and every day. So, Call it a day since the sellers are weak and the buyers are still going up. But if sellers, if buyers break this post, this whole area, they will go up. But if they fail to break this whole area, these two line, the sellers will go down this level. So if you actually know the starting point of the trend and the ending point where it will end, this will help you trade successfully, like predicting next candle. If I if I to predict next candles, I what I'm doing here, I would have make a lot of money but i don't want to trade now i'll come back later and take some trade so i'm not in the mood of trading i'm in the mood of explaining so that i have different mode of taking trade mode of explaining and mode of trading so when i'm trading i don't always or well, i don't always uh, i don't always stop myself speak loud confuse myself explain to people no. just explain my trade so that is when I'm in the mode of trading. But if I'm in the mode of explaining, then that is, I'll take time to explain deeply how you can take trade successfully. So, okay, guys, so let's me stop here for today. Next time, next time, uh, still going to have something to do. Uh, yeah, still going to explain some of the things that you need to observe. I'm back with this.